Felix Baumgartner is a helicopter pilot and a skydiver, but it's as a base jumper that he has become a legend. Three, two, one, jump. I went to Austria to meet Felix and talk about his most memorable jumps and find out what he's got planned next. You've done a lot since 2003, and we could be here all day talking about all the different jumps. Is there one or two that stand out for you as the jumps you like to talk about? But I think one of the most memorable base jumps that I did is the Jesus jump in Rio de Janeiro. That jump definitely turned me from a nobody into a somebody. Because that was a difficult jump, right? That was a difficult jump because it was just 90 feet high. No one ever has done a base jump lower than that. From the right arm of the Jesus stage, when you step off, you have two and a half seconds until impact. Rock and roll, dude! Something goes wrong, within two seconds I'm dead. I'm gone, you know? And that's hard to deal with. Because there's a lot, of, a lot of people out there, base jumpers, who are wild dogs, they don't care about anything. And that was ne has never been my approach. Mm. I was always a safe thinking guy. A safe-thinking guy he may be, but in 2003, Felix became the first man to free fall across the English Channel. You've taken it to a whole new level and experienced free flight, the jump over the English Channel. Yeah, that was actually the first time where I really had that feeling I'm flying like a bird because it was five minutes and 22 seconds of free fall from the English coast of, of Dover to Calais. So after the flight over the English Channel, was Red Bull Stratus the, the obvious next thing for you? Everything that I did in the past was important to reach that level that I have right now because Red Bull Stratus is a really complex project. Red Bull Stratus will see him free fall from the edge of space and set no fewer than four new world records. Let's talk about each of the records then. Firstly, the highest man balloon ever. How high? 130,000 feet. Which is 23 miles. Yeah. Up. Edge of space. Then, as you come out of the balloon, um, you start doing the highest skydive in the world. They did it 50 years ago, and in the meantime, nobody was able to break it. But they've tried. But they have tried, and some of these people failed, some of them, they died, you know? So, highest man balloon jump, uh, highest free fall, and then first man to be supersonic. Until we break the speed of sound, everything is pretty, pretty predictable. Yeah, we know ballooning, we know a lot about balloons. The pressure suit has been tested many times. The big unknown that we have right here is what happens to the human body if he falls at supersonic speed, which is about 1,200 kilometers per hour. That is a big step into the unknown. Has anyone tried to talk you out of this? Well, my mom started. We still have a, a huge full operation test lined up in San Antonio, Texas. That means we take the whole equipment, the capsule, life support system, all the camera equipment that we have developed into a chamber, and we can simulate altitude and temperature. I have to ask you, are you nervous? What does that word mean? No, I, <laughs> I'm always nervous, yeah, because you never know how it turns out. Well, enough chat. I'm going to ask you now to show us what you do best, and I don't mean jump out of a plane jump off a building. But let's just go for a gentle, gentle spin in this, shall we? Sure. Gentle. Gentle. You do that every day, but yet you enjoyed that as much as I did. Yeah, I love it. I mean, that's my life. Chelsea, yeah, this is, that's some you born to fly. Yeah, this is what my life is all about. Yeah, that's my world. As soon as I leave miles. the ground, I am at home. So it's, it's the other way around. Okay. Good luck with Red Bull status. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Cheers.